Okay, everybody. This, this video is pretty much a quick um, what happened on the weekend. I did make it to Denton, Texas. I was there. I even drove by the gym and everything. It was badass. It was beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't park anywhere around there. I actually tried parking by the gym, but a sher like a black SUV sheriff pulled up and um, he was like, "Oh, unfortunately, you can't really park here." And you know, if you're gonna, because I told him I was gonna sleep in the van. I had no money for a um, for a hotel. I only came with gas money, everybody. I came with $700. The first $300 went to gas just to get there. So I was like, ah, uh, if it took me $300 to get here. I didn't hit any traffic. That A lot of that is the reason why I saved a lot of gas. I didn't hit any traffic. Driving through Arizona, New Mexico, into Texas, and then when I left into Oklahoma City, and then I took a little detour to Nevada. The most beautiful scenery, the most beautiful people, down to earth definition of southern welcome i ran into no assholes no people of, of like full of hatred it, it really bugged me because my whole 30 and a half hour experience um drive no well actually it was almost 35 hours actually 35 hours of driving non-stop didn't even sleep i ran into no assholes as soon as i got back into california my first it, it said oh welcome to california i stopped at the first gas station right there on south blythe uh, right before um, Desert Center. I was same, same gear and everything I had on. You know, um, obviously, I had, you know, I was going to the south. I wanted to have my Trump gear on. See what, what what would happen. Nothing happened. Actually, I was more than welcome, more than loved. I was embraced by everybody, even in the hood. Even when I stopped at Denton out of Valeros, everyone's like, yeah, blah, 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 Trump, yeah, yeah, blah. I was like, what? Media is BS with the whole racism and stuff. There was black, white, and a little bit of Hispanics mixed groups of hundreds. Even at the Bucky's, because I try to stop at Bucky's to get gas. Everyone's throwing the N bomb. Everyone's calling each other not, not the ER, but A, like like brother, like but N word. It, they were embracing each other. It was like it was good to see. I was like, wow, okay, it, like this is not what the media is portraying. Not only that, but you had FJBs all over black, Hispanic, and white-owned businesses. What does that tell you? And it was in all those states. Even Democrats out there were like, yeah, we're not, we're not into those. Um, they saw my license plate, and they're like, you're not one of those progressives, are you? And then it was like, oh, no, look, took off my shirt. Because obviously I had a sweater on. Took off my sweater and showed them what I was wearing. Put my hat back on. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, we knew there was good people out there in California. And it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But anyways, I'm getting on to, i got to get back on into fighting. Amazing trip. I would love to live in Texas. Beautiful, amazing people out there. Um, the only downside is, like, when the sheriff told me, yeah, you, you need to go, like, it's okay if you can go in this type of area, just be careful. Like, the sheriff himself gave me a heads up, like, you're from out of town, you might be a target, there's a lot of thefts and crimes and stuff like that in the area. I was like, oh, okay, thank you so much, I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I grew up in ghettos all my life, so it's, like, no big deal to me. Well, that was until almost midnight happened. I ended up parking by some apartments. The apartments look really nice. I parked right by some apartments. It was a Domino's, Pizza Hut, KFC, and like a Texas um, fast food thing. I forgot what it was called, but it was packed. Just for the 30, 40 minutes, because I, I even text my email. I was like, hey, I'm going to spend the night right here. Or, you know, emailed him, saying I'm going to spend the night right there. Right after that, like not even 20, 30 minutes, there was a lot of drug deals, a lot of people staring at my van, a lot of people staring at me. And it wasn't like staring like, oh, yeah, just he's in the right, right there. It was like, oh, shit, California plates. Oh, shit, American flag stickers. Oh, shit, uh, military stickers. Who the fuck is this guy? It was just like those weird shady looks. Like, you just get that weird feeling in your stomach. So I, I left, everybody. I, I just left. I was exhausted. My wrists were hurting. My neck was hurting from the drive. I was just like, I cannot afford to get punched in the head. So I booked it. With that being said, um, you said that I forgot his name on the last video, the six foot nine guy. I will fight him January 6th. I will bulk up and wait. I'm 204 pounds, six foot one. I will bulk up and wait. I don't know your name, my brother. I was trying to go back on the other video and find out what your name was, and it's not there. So I'm going to call you Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant, I'm calling you out. I'm going to take your 18-0 record on my debut.